All new at 10, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office shutting down what they call an illegal pot dispensary in Phoenix. Detectives say the store was posing as an authorized business, but it was actually selling unsafe products to customers. Team 12's Chase Golightly is digging into the investigation for us. And Chase, you've heard from the Sheriff's Office and customers who say that it was very convincing. That's right. People were very surprised at what investigators claim was happening inside. Now it all started when the health department noticed a problem with the dispensary's license. Money, guns, magic mushrooms and black market weed. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says it was all found inside this business posing as a legitimate recreational dispensary. The community and most of its customers probably thought it was a a legalized dispensary, but it wasn't. It convinced Summer Williams, a frequent customer, wondering today why the shop was now totally empty. Uh, what the heck? Why is it closed? I was just here a few days ago. She had no idea what authorities believe was really going on inside corporate dispensary on Southern Avenue and 16th Street. I just think it's crazy. I can't believe it. Uh, I talked to them, the owners. They said that it was legal and that they did the paperwork. But Detective Matthew Shea with MCSO says that's not the case. They did a little research and found that they were displaying a fictitious license. Investigators going undercover finding more problems. They're selling products that uh, weren't tested and vetted, uh, products that are coming in from black markets. Products like this that resemble normal items you would buy at any grocery store, which is against state law. But the breaking point for detectives... And most concerning to us is they were selling psilocybin products. Otherwise known as magic mushrooms. Deputies say workers were taking customers to the back of the building in a secret safe room that they built to sell the drug. That right there was kind of the nail in the coffin. The fact the store convinced so many it was the real deal has the cannabis industry surprised. I've been in the Arizona industry for eight years, and I've never heard of anything like this. But Ann Torres, the executive director of the Arizona Dispensaries Association, says there are a few ways you can tell if a dispensary is legitimate or not. You'll see here that it definitely does not have the branding, the warning signs from the Arizona Department of Health. She says you can also go on the Department of Health's website to look up authorized dispensaries. MCSO says they have arrested three suspects in this case. Each one is facing multiple felony charges. For Live in the Alert Center, Chase Golightly, 12 News.